Hi, I'm Steve Sherman. Today we're going to show you how to pick up uh, part zeros on your workpiece using a edge finder. And this will be for the Inspire Plus control. So first we're going to load the edge finder into the spindle. So let's open the doors. To load the tool into the spindle, just make sure the deeper cut from the tool holder goes to the angled spindle key. So my deeper cut, my angle key is towards the back. Press the tool out button, load your tool and release the tool out button and your tool is clamped in the spindle. And now our edge finder is loaded into the machine. We'll shut the doors. The doors have to be shut in order to run the spindle. So for that edge finder, we're going to run it at 1000 RPM. So from the main screen, press MDI and then M3 will be for clockwise direction and then S1000 will be our spindle speed. And then you want to press F5 run and cycle start. Now our spindle is running 1000 RPM. We can escape out of the MDI window. So we're back on the main screen. And now you can use either F2 jog or F3 hand wheel to position your edge finder. I'll use F3 hand wheel. And I'm gonna go in the Z direction. And first we'll pick up our X. And now that I'm close, I'm gonna use my remote hand wheel. So as your edge finder gets closer, you can slow down your feed rate and slowly touch your edge finder to the side of your part. And as it makes contact, it'll start spinning very true. And as soon as it breaks off to one side, that's what we want to call our X zero. So sometimes you can see better from a side window, depending on your machine, you might have to get a different angle on it. So there, my edge finder broke. So I'm going to call that X negative one. I'm on the left side of the part. So negative 0.1. So now my current position is set at negative 100 thousandths. So now I want to pick up my Y zero, which would be the back edge of the part. So I'm going to move my edge finder over to that side. So I'm going to go in Z. And now I'm on the back side of the part. So I'm going to slowly move my edge finder towards the part. It'll break. As soon as it does that, that's where I want to call my Y zero. So again, I'll hit G54Y and it'll say enter the touch off radius. And my edge finder is 200 thousandths and I'm on the positive side of Y. So I'm going to enter 0.1. So Y of 0.1. So now my X and Y zero have been set. I can either go to hand wheel Z just to move out of there, or I can shut my hand wheel off and press escape and jog a positive distance away from the part and press stop, the spindle stops. So now X zero set, Y zero set for your part. So your work coordinates are ready to go. As long as your tools are touched off, you can run your program.